Hey guys, Weep here. Today we're going to be talking about Estelles in Astelia. So Estelles are the pet system in Astelia, and they do a variety of different things from tanking to healing to DPS to skill effects to deck effects and a variety of other things which we're going to be talking about in this video. So first up, let's have a talk about the three different types of Estelles. So we have the Servant class. So as you can see here, the Servant class costs 100 AP to summon. And it costs 20 AP per second to keep it summoned. So let's summon it out. Okay, there we go. So now it's summoned, it used up a bit of AP, and now it's using 20 per second. So when it also has a skill here, Cure, which you can drag to your bar and you can use it anytime, assuming that it is summoned. It also has a combo skill. So let's have a look at that, shall we? The combo skill for this class would be Vitality. So let's use Vitality and your Astel will use its ability. Note that it doesn't cost any AP for using this ability, so you can kind of bait your Estelia into using its abilities by using abilities that have longer cast times, where you don't actually have to cast it, saving you mana, especially effective on the healer. So let's de-summon the pet, and let's have a look at a Guardian. So the Guardian is usually stronger, and they cost more to summon. As you can see, it's 200 AP rather than 100, and it costs 25 to keep it out. Now... As you can see down here, Glycitation, it costs 150 AP to use. So when you summon them, when you use their ability, it's actually going to cost you AP. There's a reason for this though, because they are unbelievably powerful. Hopefully we can find them up here. Here we go. So let's use the ability. I've dragged it onto my bar. And it's now frozen. So for Glacier specifically, you can freeze AoE mobs in dungeons and wail them down. If everybody in the party has one, you can effectively use it four times in a row. It's a very, very effective Estelle. Any Estelle that's on your bar down here, you can summon at any time, assuming that you have the AP. So you can swap between them and do a variety of different combos between damage, skill effects, healing, tanking, assuming your tank dies, and various other things. So it is a very cool system and something I very much like. Okay, so that covers pretty much what the Guardian does. Keep in mind the Guardian does take more SP, so it is a, not possible to summon, say for example, a Guardian and a Servant at the same time, otherwise your goes down. Even if you use a Ultratonic, which increases your AP regeneration rate, you still unfortunately can't summon both of them at the same time. You can summon two Servants at the same time if you have an Ultratonic on though. Okay, so next up is the Savior class. So the Savior class is again a little bit different. The Sabian class are huge Estelles, but they have limited time. So it's going to cost me 750 AP to summon him, and it's going to cost 450 AP to use his ability. Now, when you first summon him, he's going to use his ability for free. So let's find a mob, and let's summon him. Okay, so he's going to use his ability. Usually they have a big AoE ability, so as you can see, it's going to pull a lot of mobs if you're not careful. I would save these Estelles for a crunch moment where you're getting overwhelmed or to finish off a boss or something like that. Not something I'd generally pull out immediately. They are very effective, uh, very, very strong stat-wise, so they will do a hell of a lot of damage. Okay, you're going to note that when I de-summon him, which I'm not even sure you can de-summon them actually, so he's got a bar above his head and it's going down. When it reaches zero, you're going to notice that I have like a 20-minute cooldown, so you can't summon them all that often. Okay, so now that we've talked about the three basic types of Estelles, let's go and have a look at a little bit more XP focused stuff. Okay, so Estelles have three main ways of leveling up. They have levels, they have grades, and they have enhancement levels. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the levels. So as you can see here, I have level 50, level 50, level 50, but down here, I have level 49, level 1, level 1. Now let's have a look at RAM, for example. Ram is about 300s roughly in its magical attacks and about 300s over here. And it's level 50. Now, if we have a look at, say, Taurus at level 20, you'll notice that his stats average out to be like 150. That's a massive drop. Now, if I go to a level 1, my stats average out to be about 100. So you're like three times stronger when your XP, when your level is 50 instead of level 1. Now, how you level your Estelles up is basically you have them down in the deck bar down here. All they have to do is be in the bar, they don't have to be summoned. So if you have a Stelz that you're not using at a level 50, bring in your low level ones to level them up. They level up when you're doing mobs and quests, and so basically anything that will give you XP, a share to your Stelz. So the Stelz maximum level is the same maximum level as your character, and at global that will be level 50. 
Next up, let's talk about enhancement. So, in here you can see it says RAM plus 2. Uh, RAM is being enhanced two times. So you go into RAM and you go to Style Jewels. Now, Style Jewels are obtained a variety of different ways. They can be upgraded and other things. So make sure you look into that before you start doing this. But as you can see, here's stats here. So what I've done is I've taken gems and I've put them in here. And it adds extra stats to your style. If you do not absorb the gems, if you click Enhancement, it'll absorb the gems and permanently give those stats to your style. This can only be done a certain amount of times. I believe it's five or ten times. So you can only limit it, get it up to strength. But if you use the wrong gems or you want to do more powerful gems, you can hit the reset button and it'll take all your stats away and back to level zero and allow you to use different gems. Something to note though is that you're going to lose all of your stats. Uh, sorry, not your stats, your gems if you do this. So each time you do this, you're losing a ton of gems. Okay, so you've got different types like Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, and Epsilon. You have to fill this out and then hit Enhancement and it'll absorb them all. You can take them out if you haven't done it, so it's all good. Okay, so once you've done that, you can upgrade him and he'll get significantly stronger stats. Okay, so that's basically everything to do with the Enhancement. Now let's talk about Grade. Now by Grade, I mean the Style Level. So as you can see, they have a Style Level here at a rank 5. This is called Grades. So Braga up here is Grade 4. When your Grade goes up, I believe you get about... About 5% extra base stats, so you are quite powerful, and your deck effects will go up. So let's say, for example, here, we have Rich Deck, level 3, Health Regeneration 2, Spirit Summoner 2. If Raga was level 1, for example, it could be, say, Rich 2 points, Health Regeneration 1 point, and Spirit Summoner 1 point. Deck effects are extremely, extremely important, and... There's a very complicated discussion with many items that can change how it works. So that we will be creating a video in of itself, specifically for deck effects and everything that goes along with it. All you need to really know is that when you go into dungeons, you're going to see that you can collect cards. So as you can see here, these are the possible cards that you can get. If you get a rank 1 card from a dungeon, it's going to give you 10 points. So let's say, for example, I go into Ram. Ram has 580 XP. At 640 XP, he's going to go to level 5. So if I get a level 1 RAM card from a dungeon, I'm going to get 10 XP and it's going to go up to 590. And then 600, so on and so forth. When you hit 640, its rank's going to go up and its deck effects will get stronger. Okay, so that basically covers the grades. Note though, if you open up the store and go into Zender Products and go to Summon Estelles, and you buy a card, it doesn't necessarily have to um, give you a rank 1. For example, if you get, say, a rank 3 Estelle card, it'll give you like 160 points, which are effectively worth like 16 rank 1s. So if you do get higher than rank 1s, you will level up substantially faster. Okay, so next up, let's talk about stat boosting. So stat boosting is you use an item called a Ultra Crystal, which can be obtained in various ways. Uh, but basically, you use these crystals here to boost your stats. For example, I have boosted Strength, Agile, and Dex. When you boost stats with these Ultra Crystals, these stats carry over to your Estelles. So when you're making yourself more powerful, you're actually making your Estelles more powerful as well. So it is perhaps a good idea to check out which Estelles. For example, let's say you're raising Agility and Dex. It may be a good idea to raise an Archer because the Archer one will receive your stats and become more powerful because it uses similar stats to you. That's definitely something you're going to have to look into each Estelle individually because they all have different skills and combo effects and they all have different deck effects and base stats. So it's very important that you make sure you know which Estelles you want to use before you start filling around with the deck. Okay, so I believe that covers just about everything to do with Estelles. Again, deck effects, incredibly important, which we will discuss in another video because there is much to talk about. That's it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please do hit that subscribe button above. If you're looking for an MMO community, do consider joining our community variety MMOs, where we focus on community inclusion, guides, and community events. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.